Welcome. In this video, I will briefly show you how you can use the Process Explorer. You can find the download page and link to the Process Explorer in the description or in the pinned comment. Let's download the Process Explorer from the direct download link. No installation required. It is a direct executable program. Let's run the Process Explorer. After running it, we will see all the active processes on our device and the graphical use of resources in bars at the top. Here we can see how much these processes use the resources of our device. For example, to see the processes that use our processor the most, click on CPU and sort the processes. Let's go back to the top again. I would suspect a virus if an unimportant process here were overusing processor resources. There is nothing abnormal here, and for those who don't know, the system idle process here is not a virus. It is a Windows process that indicates idle resources. In the standard settings of the Process Explorer, there is no indicator on interface for some resources. For example, for the video card, that is GPU, there is no indicator active. We have to set it active as we want from top left corner. Click on View and click on Select Columns. Then click on the Process GPU tab and tick GPU Usage. If there is no description of the process and no company name, it is likely that the process is a virus. We can also check the digital certificates of all processes by clicking on Options from top left corner and clicking on Verify Image Signatures at the top left, so that a virus disguised as a normal program will also be detected as it has no certificate. Also, VirusTotal, which is integrated to Process Explorer, has a record on their network of the infected processes, and if you are connected to the internet, you can scan your processes in the Process Explorer right now. To scan, click on Options from top left corner, hold your cursor on VirusTotal, and click on Check VirusTotal.com. If any virus is found, you will see a red colored text here. The Process Explorer does not show the execution directory of the processes by default, so we have to click on View from top left corner, and at the very bottom click on Select Columns, and then tick the command line box. This way, we can be more sure if the process is a virus or not. If there was a virus, we would have found a suspicious process after following the steps I mentioned. For example, an unidentified process that uses unnecessary amounts of our CPU or GPU. If you find a virus, go to the directory of the infected process, and with the help of an antivirus, I will refer to as AV, right-click on the virus process, and get rid of the virus with the option of an AV. If you try to delete it yourself, the virus probably won't let you. AVs are the cleanest and healthiest way to clean a virus. Thank you for watching. If you have a question, I can help in the comments or on our Discord channel. I would be very happy if you subscribe and like the video. Have a good one and stay trouble free.